Regan Slaymaker for International Boxing News. And I have the pleasure to be joined by manager extraordinaire for the first time as well, Lee Eaton. Lee, we've just seen Dennis McCann pick up the British and Commonwealth Super, Super Bantamweight titles. I mean, how was that, mate? Yeah, listen, over the moon for him. Uh, absolutely over the moon. He's um, put an amazing performance in. He's had a great camp uh, with Joe and Deck down at the, uh, Rotunda. Um, listen, I, I'm over the moon for him. He deserves it for what he's done. Uh, obviously, the Baluta fight, he's gone on, like I just said, he's gone on, took himself away out of his comfort zone, away, away from his family and stuff like that, moved to a different um, part of the country and knuckled down. Um, so, listen, I'm absolutely over the moon for him. Definitely. How important has that move to, to Joe Minnelli and Declan O'Rourke been for the career of Dennis McCann moving forward? Listen, De um, Al Smith and Dennis McCann was an unbelievable partnership. Um, listen, they, they were like literally like father and son. So obviously it was sad for, for, for Dennis to leave that, but De Dennis felt like that was the, the move he wanted to do. And obviously that's what I have to support him as his manager. And listen, for, for, and the performance tonight, I believe like, it was a great decision. Obviously, um, Deco and um, Joe are unbelievable coaches. Obviously, and listen, I'm just pleased of the outcome tonight. Definitely, and shout out to Al Smith and Ellie Lamb as well. I great, do want great people, great people in boxing. They definitely are as well. Hopefully, I get back down to the iBox gym soon as well. I do want to kind of move on to kind of two fighters that you have on uh, Dalton Smith's uh, Jose Zapata undercard, um, Ishmael Davis and Laley Buttigieg. I think I've said his name correctly Butter there, Jake. but Buttigieg. Um, but uh, and Liam Cameron and Nico Levers. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a let's go management undercard over there. I mean, talk, talk to me, talk to me through. Thank you, Eddie, your bathroom. No, yeah, talk me through kind of how important is it for your fighters to be on that stage and getting those big, big performances as, in as well. Yeah, it's massively important. Obviously, Ishmael Davies took a chance against you and Mackenzie on a four weeks notice. Absolutely um, done a great job on him, and now he took a fight that most people said you shouldn't take. But listen, we, he's Britain's uh, best kept secret. And on the next Saturday, you're going to see that. He is an unbelievable fighter. Listen, Troy is a good friend of mine, a great team, great people, and that. I've spent a lot of time with him over the years, especially with MTK and stuff like that. And listen, but it's business, and I believe Ishmael Davis wins. Definitely, mate, as well. And kind of lately as well, obviously, two fights in, but progressing really well. Another fighter with it at uh, Al Smith and Eddie Lamb. Yeah, listen, laley has been doing unbelievable under um, Al Smith and Eddie Lamb. Uh, he's improving massively. Obviously, I was on the phone to Al earlier, talked about his last spa and stuff like that. And he's, yeah, he's improving all the time. He's only 19, I think, was it today or, yet, or yesterday? So he's only just turned 19. So listen, the kid's got an exciting future. He definitely has as well. I do want to touch on some news that happened this week. Harry Scar signing with Wasserman ahead of his IBF uh, eliminator with uh, Karen Chukadazian. I think I've said his name correctly as well. But, but, but exciting times ahead for Harry Scarf as well, who's deserved it. Yeah, listen, Harry Scarf's another one who took his opportunity, fought Echo Esselman um, and won British Commonwealth and IBF European titles. And now he got called for a final eliminator for the um, IBF world title for Jerron Ennis. So listen, hard, hard night's work, but listen, Harry Scarf's ready to go. Definitely. Where could we probably see that fight happening? Just been sorted at the minute, so hopefully news next week. Perfect. Hopefully we'll find out as well, mate. As well, another fight I want to do want to touch on. Kind of, he's gone, done it the hard way, and become out as, as champion. We're finally picking up the British title as well. Jay Harris, obviously a great win against Conor Butler as well, and an excellent fight I thought as well. But what, what, what's next for Jay Harris? I mean, there's a multiple of names that could be next for him as well. Let's do Sonny Edwards. I think it'd be fun, wouldn't it? Me and my old mate Sonny, <laughs> my business partner. But no, listen, who knows? We've just got to look at, look at all the options. But listen, Jay, Jay's done unbelievable what he's done in his career. Full for the world title, British champion, two-time Commonwealth champion, two-time European champion. And like, he deserves all the, everything, and I hope he goes against a big fight. Definitely, I hope that Sonny Edwards fight is really intriguing as well. Final one, Lee. Do you want to touch on Dina Thorsland as well, the unified bantamweight champion? I mean, pulling in stellar performances, is it another unification that could be next for her? No, we have to fight the mandatory um, who pulled up on fight week with a cut and got um, a medically unfit. Is that Seren Setting? Setting. Uh, so we're, we're going to fight her in May. Um, and, then, and then we won all the belts. The Dina Forsland, I'm telling you now, is the best fighter in the female division, in the whole of the female division. She's pound for pound up there at top five. She's unreal. Well, you heard it here first, Lee, and thank you very much. And I think we're just about to watch Joe Joyce as well. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Thank you.